Yo, yo. We tuned in in there? Yes, sir. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man. And you are tuned in to the one, the only, Dirt Gang TV. Whack 100 again? Uh, yo, uh, come on, son. Again? What? All this stuff you getting into, you just dodged a bullet with Big U. Now you gonna get... Yo, listen. You even put yourself in the line of fire. You put Blueface in the line of fire. Or did he put himself in the line of fire? A lot of y'all out there don't know about Loki Shmula. Y'all should know about Loki Shmula. We're gonna talk about Loki Shmula. It's that guy right behind me in the background. Y'all can see him clearly. Guy with the cool smile. <laughs> Let's go, man. Y'all ready? Harlem Smiley. Listen, Blueface versus Loki Smula versus Wack 100. 10K or better. We gonna get into it, man. Y'all ready? Get up off that couch, man. Y'all know y'all can't get this money if you in there on the couch sleep. Let's go, man. Dirt game. We rolling, man. Yikes. The side block, man. It's curvy low, nigga. You are now tuned into Bossman Tough Beats. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from a Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man. And you have been tuned in to the one and the only Dirt Gang TV. And listen, man. This guy, Whack 100, man. This guy done... He trying to start a whole new East Coast, West Coast beef. But we ain't gonna let that happen. We ain't gonna let that happen because Whack 100... First off, you blood, you trying to cause Crip on Crip violence? Yo. Alright, so this is how it all started. This is how it all started. Recipes Pop Smoke had an unusual, um, unexpected, just out there from out of nowhere, tragic death. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Blueface, hours afterwards, felt like he needed the put a tweet out there about the situation. So, here's Blueface tweet. Then he instantly follows up with this one. Then follows up again with this one. So, after that was all said and done, Loki Schmula from 8 Deuce Trey. G Stone. Same set as Pop Smoke. Felt some kind of way. Felt some kind of way. And he said this. Nigga, niggas no get straight on the set. Yo, blue face, yo, cuz, check it. Listen here, Lo. Why every time something happen on one of the rips, you got something to say, cuz. You always, like, negative with the shit. Like, you don't never just say heart to heart to the homeboys or I send my respects. You always gotta say some slick shit, cuz. Like, I can tell nobody never punched me in your mouth for the shit you be talking about. These niggas on my side that bang this shit, nigga, get straight, nigga. August 23rd, nigga, we go at it with each other for saying shit that you be saying. So I know none of your homies ain't G checking you. Like, you come to New York, bro, you owe an apology to the Rips, nigga. That's a fact, nigga. You owe an apology to everybody that claim Crip on the East Coast. Man. Get so then, WAC 100 felt some kind of way. That time, Blueface didn't respond to it. It is what it is. WAC 100 then goes and puts out a tweet.
Loki, Loki Shmula did um did respond to this on a tweet. Basically said, Psh, put up 50K. I'll stop smoking right now at this particular moment. But throughout all of this, all this said and done, Wack 100, you a blood. Loki Shmula is a crit. Blueface is a crit. So the way you thinking it is like, oh, they two crips. I'm going to start this crip on crip crime. Crip on crip war. But you thought you was going to be protected by the bloods, didn't you? You thought you had a, yo, listen. <laughs> OG, Corey King, double OG, Corey King. First blood in Flatbush, Corey King. One of the biggest big homies in New York, Corey King. Had this to say. Me this morning, but in the video, you were talking, you, you were talking that talk, and um, you said that West Coast now has to check in. Yes, please. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact, man. Of course, but now when they come over here, they gotta check in, man. Like I said, I don't have beef with the West Coast, so not everybody in the West Coast, not Cali, but Blue Face, Wack One Hundred, and them dudes that had, you know, the little six of the same. They come over here. They have to check in. All other cities that come on the East Coast has to check in now. Okay. And I'm not putting sauce on it. I I I, I saw you say, um, I want to hear bodies dropping. You said, I don't give a fuck about jail. I'm going to start killing niggas, quote unquote. You want to respond to that? Because, you know, some people said, ah, he was sipping off the Henny. I didn't see you sipping on Henny. What do you want to say to that? Nah, I'm not going to start killing people, man. I was, I was, I was in my bag emotionally or whatever. Like, man, they killed, they killed the good dude. killed the good kid, man. I mean, pop smoke. you know, he wasn't, he wasn't beef with nobody over there. Yeah, pop smoke. He wasn't beef with nobody over there. Right. You know what I mean? So my thing was, was it that serious to go over there and take his life? You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the moment, yeah. Had I, had I been there, it would, it, it would have been some smoke. But now that I'm on sound mind, I got clear head. I'm going to stand on this. If you're a West Coast artist, you come over here and you have to pay homage. You got you to you you check in and pay respect. I don't want to hear about, you know, Jay Friends. I don't want to hear about, you know, Puffy, Jay Z. None of that. Jay Friends was the size of Big Homie. Man, love and respect to him. Right. That's where it is. Got everybody up. Nobody can save you. If you don't check in with the dogs, they respect what you do. Okay. Yeah. Now, listen. You Now, I hate to put clips of other people's stuff on here, but that's the platform he said it on. Now, the dude who he was who was uh, interviewing Corey King is a little out there. It's not like you know, he's not a gangbanger. Lived in Brooklyn for a little while. It's a little different kind of guy. <laughs> it is what it is, but. Did the interview. There's a lot was said during that interview. I ain't trying to get my gent clipped. So that's what we putting up there for right now. So now throughout all said and done, everybody who out there who been in the dark, y'all all caught up. So now that y'all did the rewind, let's get into it, baby. Let's get into it. Blue face, baby. Yeah, yeah. I right, bitch, I'm low. Mac with the... First off, I understand where you from. All Crips don't get along with all Crips. Understand. I understand. For the most part, y'all from schoolyard. My set and your set really don't super mesh like that. Beef in the past, now we just don't mesh like that. Understandable. Your set is like that. In New York, it's kind of a different story. A little bit different story. Mostly united. Different story. Let me tell y'all a little something though. The schoolyard Crips in LA, mainly uh, Venice area, got some members. They're not that big of a set though. The eight dudes trades, however, in Brooklyn might be arguably the biggest set in New York City. A lot of members. 
a lot of members. Once again, I have close cousins, uncles, goes as I got little brother and sister that is from that set. I used to be from that set a long, long time ago. That was the original set I turned. So a lot of members. A lot of members in G-Stone. That being said, Blueface, don't think you're going to go to New York 20, 30 people and it's Nah, I'm telling you, had that whole spot shut down. So with that being said, I definitely don't feel like you should have said the comment you said. It should have been a rest in peace. And then, you know, oh, uh, people, y'all got to be careful when y'all coming out to L.A., you know, yada, 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 like that, too. You know, if y'all need some, just check in with some of the locals. See what I'm saying? That's what it would have been all good. You can't put that one first. Everybody think it's all palm trees and stuff out here. And then going to put rest in peace right after that. Rest in peace, pop smoke right after that. Blue face, baby. That's what you messed up at. Yeah, yeah, all right. Loki. Shmula. He out there getting shmula. <laughs> a lot of y'all out there don't know. He's a well-known Brooklyn artist. Brooklyn Crip. We specify a lot about being a Brooklyn Crip. Because we put pride on it like how Compton Crips put pride on it. A Compton Crip will tell you they're a Compton Crip before they tell you what actual set they from. In Brooklyn, there's a lot of different sets. But it's just something about taking pride on being a Brooklyn Crip. That's how we think out there. A lot of Brooklyn Bloods are probably somebody we either went to school with or our family members. Same thing like a lot of California. Brooklyn Bloods do the same thing. Yes, they're Bloods from New York. But to be a Brooklyn Blood, take pride on that. Loki Shmula is well respected around Brooklyn. For what he went through in his past, notably like in a situation where 98% of the people probably would have went ahead and just said something because of the situation, he didn't. He gets a lot of respect in the hood for that. So with that being said, is he one of the biggest ranking 8 Deuce Trade G-Stone Crip members in there? No. But, he do get a lot of respect. So, I am big homie one folk call let go. In this instance, Blueface, if you come to New York, you got to watch out for that. Because literally, they can make one phone call. It could be a go. With that being said, whack 100. Whack. In New York, nobody will never name themselves whack. That's whack. Yo. You put this man in a bad predicament. Put yourself in a bad predicament. You can't say you're going to put up 10K that another man could beat up another man without putting yourself into it. That should have been you. Or you should have just said nothing. One thing you don't know about the G-Stones, the eight deuce trays out there. They pride on being a New York based Brooklyn set. They pride on not having no ties with LA Crips. Not saying like, oh, they diss LA Crips. It's just they throw pride on that. So when LA Crips do come to New York, they get shown love. But it's not like we running around and oh, you know, like they riding oh, like, oh, he from LA. Let me go run it. Nah, it's not like that. I'm telling you, it's not like that. If you come out here from L.A. and you got an L.A. base set that's out here, nine times out of ten, that's probably what's going to be around. But if not, you doing a video and all that, you need Crips in your video, and you in Brooklyn, you want to go through the eight deuce trays. That can never happen now for Blueface because of WAC 100. Not saying he need it, but 
New York is leading for a lot of stuff, especially when it comes up to, you know, uh, raising your stock. Same thing. Is Loki Schmuller going to need to come to L.A.? Sure, but it's not like, um, it's not like the schoolyards is super deep to where they're about to be showing up talking about, oh, you in L.A., we about to pop. Nah, it's not like that. The eight new shades can pop up at any part of New York City. The schoolyards, they not popping up at any part. Oh, if they doing one in Compton. Oh, nah, I'm telling it's not I'm telling you, it's not happening like that. So it's a little bit, you know, a little bit easier. But until this calmed down, I would suggest A, Blueface, you stay out of New York. B, Loki Schmuller, you stay out of LA. Whack 100, you got bigger problems. Than what you think. Because. I don't know if you realize my guy. Now because of you. You got one of the biggest bloods in New York. Saying that any artist. Not any LA artist. Let's be specific what he said. Not any LA artist. <coughs> any artist that's under WAC 100. Or has an affiliation with WAC 100. Has to check in. New York, we was never with that. Oh, y'all come out here. Y'all got to check in. Nah. For years, especially as a gangbanger, we always, I don't care how much people say as a crip, as a blood, they not affiliated with LA. They got nothing to do with LA. LA is LA, New York, New York. That's how, that's pride. Us as gang members going up, we look up to all LA gang members. The way y'all dress, y'all khakis, Y'all, the, the Dickies, that's why Dickies was like a good brand in the late 90s, early 2000s. A lot of people in New York was wearing Dickies at that time. Not no more, but it was wearing Dickies at the time. <laughs> Learning how to sea walk the right way. We admired that. I, the movie Colors, Ice-T song Colors, Colors, Colors. See what I'm saying? Like, all that stuff intrigued me when I was younger. A lot of us out there did that. But because of you, now they saying all LA artists that's under you or affiliated with you got to check in, including you. So now if you feel like, oh, I'm going to book a show in New York and I ain't going to check in with nobody, I'm telling you. If you got a problem with, listen, Corey King is from one of the biggest blood sets in New York. If you got problems with the with his blood set and you got problems with Loki Schmula Crip set, that it, it, that's the like that's like the whole Brooklyn. That's almost every gang member in Brooklyn that's a blood or a crip. Listen, I'm telling you, you don't want that double problems. They they have you, you seeing these Casanova two times videos. That's how it's going to be looking at y'all. I'm telling you. That's how they're going to be at y'all. You will come out that show and it's going to be like, boo, boo, boo. Huh? All right. boo, boo, boo. I'm telling you. You have a million crips on this side, a million bloods on this side. Boo, boo, boo. I'm telling you. Whack 100. You better fix this. You better fix this. I don't think you wanted problems with the one side, but now you got problems with both sides. You better fix this. Or your New York hopes is out the window. As far as you doing shows, New York, New Jersey, even Pennsylvania, that might be a little. Especially, listen, on a blood side of things too, they set go all the way down to Atlanta. The eight deuce trays uh, predominantly in Brooklyn. They got a lot of members that's outside of Brooklyn, but it's predominantly in Brooklyn. But Corey King said they go all the way, all the way to Georgia. A couple of cousins of mine is from his set. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you. Yo, it's crazy. I never seen a specific person have a problem with Crips and blood. Yo, listen, a lot of y'all out there sleep on New York. I understand. Y'all feel like if y'all not gang bangers from LA, it, it don't matter. And that's where you messed up at. 
whack 100. Because you a lot of gang members from LA, whether it's battle rap, regular rap, just going out there to do videos, just going out there to move, visit. I'm telling you, and they realizing it's it's deep out there. It is no turning back out there. People now are well, we talking now, if you an original blood from when it first came out, you talking about you at least 27 years into it now. You an original crip, you talking about now, you at least 25 years into the game. From New York. You see what I'm saying? So you can't say, oh, if it ain't California, I don't see it. I know a lot of people think like that, but you should you you travel a lot. I'm pretty sure you done been in New York. Is there some discrepancies going down? A lot of, you know, stuff that needed to be fixed, of course. Especially on the blood side of things. But to help fix it, yeah, to be on a bad side, I don't think you wanted that, son. Blue face, baby. Come on, son. So let yo listen. As far as the fight goes, yeah, I know crip or crip violence is something I don't condone it. But Loki Schmuller is no slap. I've never seen him fight literally myself, but from word on the street, he no slap. I never seen Blueface fight in person myself either. Seen some online stuff, yeah. But if y'all y'all talking about doing like a boxing match, that's something that a some of y'all both can probably make more than 10k off of that. Loki Schmuller versus Blueface, a uh, boxing event, little three rounder. Got to get both of y'all some extra buzz. You got the gangbangers watching because it's Crip on Crip. I'm saying that's a positive way y'all can do it. Go on a positive route. Do the boxing thing. Y'all can do that. No problem. The boxing thing is good. Loki Shmula come out there. You get your bread. That's it. Do a little online. A little haha. I told you I was going to knock him out. It's good. Nobody gets hurt. There's no way y'all going to sit here and tell me, though, y'all just going to go to a park. And just have a one on one. Hey, we are gonna do that. California or New York? They're gonna do go in the middle, go to Chicago. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you gotta think. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as the fight goes, the only way I see that happening is if it's in like a boxing ring and it's like reporters and, you know, security around and all that to where referee and that might work. But, other than that, y'all both is Crips. Y'all need to just like not let WAC 100 get y'all in the stuff because he already got his own stuff going on now. Him being the blood with the bloods. But now, Corey King, man, everybody got to check in. If y'all part, not all LA artists, let's not get that twisted. But if you with WAC 100, affiliated with WAC 100 or one of his artists, you got the check in, or oh, y'all New York show might go a little bit crazy than y'all think. It ain't me, man. I told y'all, man. I'm just a Brooklyn crit from a Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz put it in check. I'm up next. Since your boy Harlem Smiley, man, you've been tuned into the one and the only Dirt Game TV. And man, shoot, this, 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 this is getting crazy, man. Just let man rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle, man. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, man. That memorial was like, that was a, a heartbroken kind of thing, man. Especially when the wife went up there. That was crazy, man. Rest in peace to all the folks and soldiers out there. Um, if you've been here before, you like the content, man. Y'all yeah, know what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, man. Got a lot of good content coming, man. So, listen. Y'all getting tired of these channels that's just one-dimensional? Same thing all over and over? Nah, that's why I like watching Bosco. Yo, Bosco 100. Yo, go check out Bosco, man. That is one of the funniest things I've seen online. Yo, he be having me dying early in the morning. But anyway, man, if y'all been before, man, 
Like the um uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the notification bell, man. If y'all new to the channel, man, y'all do the same, man. Everybody, man, just hit the like button. Like the content, hit the like button, man. If you don't, man, hit the thumbs down button. Never thumbs down, man. Turn it from white to blue. And if not one, put up two, man. Dirt gang. We rolling. Ninth Street.